everyone, it's Danny. Welcome back to another video. And if you're new here, thank you so much for watching. Today, I'm gonna to bring you on a little bit of a haul of all of the items I've accumulated recently that have to do with books, but are not books themselves. So I'll talk through page overlays, dust jackets, book clothing, bookmarks, all of that fun stuff that we accumulate as book lovers that are related to our favorite series. So I am super excited to talk about these items today and let's go ahead and get right into it. So the first item I wanna talk through today is actually a fabric dust jacket. And you might be wondering why you would need one of these, but if you are a fellow special edition collector like myself, and if you read your special editions, or if you just have like really pretty hardcovers, like some of the hardcovers that authors are putting out nowadays that have like printed character artwork on them, then you might wanna protect the hardcover itself. I am somebody that actually reads my special editions, so I am really careful with them and I make sure not to scratch them or scuff them and I don't like hold straight on to the gold foiling or the sprayed edges while I'm reading. Like I'm really careful about that, but inevitably if there is gold foiling on a hardcover, if you get your finger oils on them, there is a chance that it could get removed. And I have had that happen just barely on one of my books. And ever since then, I have started using a fabric dust jacket. And this one I got from the bookish box. It does have a ribbon bookmark and um, you just slip in your book on one side and then the other one has this little like bungee cord um, that you wrap around the other side of the hardcover and then it works just like a normal dust jacket. And ultimately I just think it is super cute and gives me that peace of mind when I'm reading that I'm not gonna ruin the special edition books that I spent so much money on. I do have a link to my Bookish Box ambassador page where you can shop through all of the Bookish Box and Bookish Shop items that I have gotten, as well as sign up for a subscription if you're interested. One thing that I also started collecting is bookmarks related to the series that I've been reading. So this one is from the Bookish Box as well, and it's the Zodiac Academy enamel bookmark. So we've got some wings as well as like all of the astrology star signs and it's got this tassel on the end. I think it's super cute and very excited to have this once I start my read of the Zodiac Academy series. And the last item that I got from the bookish box is actually the shirt that I'm wearing. So I will get a little bit higher so that you can see it, but it says Smutland. It says Smutty Reads Wild Ride. So it kind of looks like <laughs> a roller coaster. I just thought that was so funny. I liked it so much that I got a matching one for my best friend. I had always been a reader, but me and my friend had kind of just recently gotten into smutty romanticy and contemporary romance, dark romance reads. So I'm all here for it and I'm loving that I can rock it on a shirt now. The next bookish accessory that I wanted to share with you is actually a book light. So you can get these a lot of places. I got mine off of Amazon. I'll link it below in case you're interested, but it just clips onto your book pages or your hardcover, and then you can change the light settings so that it's a little bit easier to read. And for me, this is super, super helpful because I really like to set the mood when I read and I turn off all the overhead lighting, but that does mean that it's a little bit dim with only lamps on in the house. So this makes it a lot easier for me to read in low light settings. It does have um, a place where you can recharge it. So no batteries required, it's just rechargeable. Next, I'm gonna move into my Dusty Shop dust jackets for the Akatar series. So typically the hardcover dust jackets are pretty bright. So I wanted something a little bit darker, a little bit more neutral to go with the aesthetic of my bookshelves. And I think that the artwork on these ones is stunning. I will go ahead and link them down below in case you're interested. I will show all the dust jackets in the series. So if you haven't read it yet and you're worried about spoilers, you can always go ahead and skip ahead. And I have included timestamps for you to do that. Here's the dust jacket for the second book, A Court of Mist and Fury. And on this one, we have some really pretty blue tones. There is foiling on like the author name and the book title on the front, as well as on the spine. But the way that the artwork was done, it's not foiled around here, but it almost still looks glittery. And here's the dust jacket for the third book, A Court of Wings in Ruin. 
Um, Unpopular Opinion, this is actually my favorite book in the series. I think everybody who exists always choose the second book as their favorite, but I actually liked this one the best just because it was so fast paced in my opinion. I think I just end up liking later books and series a lot because the found family vibes are so strong and that was definitely the case in A Court of Wings and Ruin. But here is the artwork for A Court of Frost and Starlight and we do get the Bat Boys on the back. And side note, um, this was a novella, not super, super essential to the plot, but it did have one of the best spicy scenes that I have ever read in my opinion. <laughs> and here is the dust jacket for the last book, A Court of Silver Flames. And I did get the Dusty Shop dust jackets for the Throne of Glass series as well. So we've got the Assassin's Blade and Throne of Glass. Here is Crown of Midnight and Air of Fire, and the quality of these dust jackets is seriously amazing. They are really thick, and the colors just show up really beautifully. I also really like that they have switched between gold and silver foiling for the titles. That just really helps me, at least on my bookshelf, transition between the different color foilings that I have on other book series. So I typically put like all of my gold foiled ones towards the top of the bookshelf, and then I've transitioned transitioned with these books down into silver foiled books on the bottom half. And lastly, we have Tower of Dawn and Kingdom of Ash. So if you are looking for these dust jackets, they don't always have them in stock, but if you follow the Dusty Shop on Instagram, you can stay informed and they'll always notify everyone once they're planning a restock. The last book related items that I wanna share with you are actually page overlays from the reading portal. So I have these for the first and second Akatar books, as well as the Cruel Prince series and the first from Blood Nash book. So I will of course include timestamps so you can skip ahead if you're worried about spoilers of any of those series if you haven't read them. If you're not familiar with page overlays, these are actually artwork that corresponds with different scenes in the book that you can slip in and follow along with as you read. Here's Farah and Tamlin. And Reading Portal does let you specify which specific book size you have so that the overlays fit in perfectly. And we have Farah and Reese striking a bargain. And now moving into the page overlays for A Court of Mist and Fury, we've got the wedding scene and the inner circle. I actually didn't even know these page overlays existed until my friend got them for me for my birthday last year. Now that I know about them though, I definitely keep an eye on them to see if they release any of the other series that I like. And I will tell you, these overlays definitely do improve the reading experience. Here we have the infamous throne room scene. And I think this is my favorite overlay. It's Farah and Reese on Starfall. We have the cereal. And of course we got the paint scene. So super excited we got a spicy overlay. And lastly, we have Nesta in the cauldron. I'm not gonna lie, when I read this, I definitely thought Nesta had flipped off the King of Highburn. <laughs> I guess they didn't explicitly say that, but I just didn't expect it that she was truly just pointing. I definitely thought she gave him the bird. <laughs> and next we have page overlays for my personal favorite series from Blood and Ash. So for the first overlay, we have the red pearl scene. We've got Hawk and Poppy when she takes off her veil. We've got one of Victor. Here's the window scene with Miss Willa's diary. Here's the kiss under the willow. And finally, the last overlay, which is probably my favorite. The last set of Reading Portal page overlays I have to show you is actually for the Cruel Prince series. And I don't have books for these right now. I got the size that was going to fit the Lit Joy Crate special editions, which they just did a second print of. Um, I think the pre-order is actually currently open. So I will link that down below so that you can get your hands on the second print run. Um, they are absolutely stunning, but I will show you the overlays even though I don't have the books right now. Here are the first two overlays and these next two are both of Cardin and Jude. And here's the last overlay for book one. So that concludes my little haul of all the book-related items that I've recently gotten. Once again, I have linked them all down below. And if you've picked up any recent bookish or book-related items, leave a comment down below and let me know what your favorites are. If you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and like and subscribe to stay tuned for my upcoming special edition hauls as well as my monthly wrap-ups. But that's all for today. I'll see you in the next chapter.